Hi there, what I have for you today is a treat. It has been well looked after its entire life, and within the last few months, it's received a service from front to back, and it's been finely tuned by a loving family. It has a bath and a half floor plan and all of the amenities you'd ever want, plus a lot of luxuries that turn this into your personal luxury lodge on the road. Allow me to show you through this magnificent opportunity of a coach. So if you're wondering, this is a 2012 Newmar Essex 4544. It has an original sticker price of $701,000, but that tells only half of the story on a coach like this. What you really need to know is the history of the bus. And we happened to buy this coach about six months ago from the original owner. We had the coach for a little while and then we sold it to its second owner, who then proceeded to put about 6,000 miles in the coach and has recently fully serviced the coach as well as fine tuned it. Because a lot of times when you buy a large bus like this, there's going to be small details here and there that need to be tended to. And this is true for a new coach or a used coach. So first off, let's talk about what's behind that beautiful face. So hidden behind that pretty face is a 12.5 kilowatt Onan quiet diesel generator. And of course it has an automatic gen start system that is made easy to use thanks to two touchscreen interfaces that are located in the coach. And not only does that 12.5 kilowatt Onan quiet diesel generator slide out, but the entire face of the bus slides out with it. And this reveals easy access to your headlights, your Hadley air horns, generator filters, and much more. Speaking of headlights, these headlights have been updated to super bright LED light bulbs, which illuminate your path much better than the original bulbs. And on the other side of the generator compartment is where our hydraulic reservoir is, as well as the solenoids for quick and easy access to the system. Now it certainly does have a pretty face. And part of that is due to the fact that we just removed that 3M film because 3M films after a certain amount of years are almost guaranteed to go bad. We have had that just taken care of and what it revealed is beautiful paint in excellent condition. And I absolutely love how the Essex logo is depicted in that fiberglass piece there because these are not just graphics that are stuck into the fiberglass. These have actually been molded into the fiberglass and then painted and it gives it an incredible look in that black paint. When you see this coach coming down the road, it has an elegant presence and this huge one piece windshield gives you an incredible view out of the front of the bus. The first compartment behind the driver's side front wheel is where your eight coach side batteries are stored and all eight have been recently replaced with MagnaPower AGM batteries. And not only were the batteries replaced, but all of the copper wiring was replaced as well. And notice how those eight batteries are on a slide out tray, which makes accessing them much easier. So up front, this has massive 365 size tires, which is the same size tire that Prevo uses on their bus. And the drive axle and tag axle tires are all 315s. And these Michelin tires have date codes from 2019 and were installed in 2020. They're wrapped around beautiful Alcoa polished aluminum wheels. So in the middle of the driver's side on this coach, we have our Oasis hydronic heating system that not only gives you furnace heat, but gives you continuous hot water. And it has been recently fully serviced. And on top of having the diesel burner, it also has two immersion elements, which will give you a great supply of hot water to take a shower and will even heat the interior of your coach without having to burn any fuel. And to the right of where that Oasis is stored, we have our plumbing bay. And there's a lot of notable things about this plumbing bay that we're gonna cover more extensively later on in the video. But it is worth noting that this has an incredible auto fresh tank fill system, as well as a macerator pump that makes dumping the coach much more pleasant. And I've had some interesting stories dumping coaches and a lot of unwanted experience. So as we move back to the rear of the coach, we're gonna start talking a little bit more about the chassis side of things. This rides on a Spartan K2 chassis, which is a legendary chassis to begin with. And on top of that, Newmar attached Comfort Drive and the Hadley Active Air Ride System. And it does an incredible job with this coach. And the Comfort Drive, Spartan K2 chassis, and the Hadley Active Ride Management System all come together to make a beautiful driving experience. Not even to mention that beast of an engine we have in the rear here. So around back is where our power plant is located. And of course, this is a Cummins ISX producing 500 horsepower and about 1,645 foot-pound of torque. Or actually, it's pound-feet of torque. My bad. It's a side-radiated engine, which makes accessing your belts and the engine in general all that much easier. 
and all of the belts on this Cummins have recently been replaced. And not just the engine is up to date on all the services. The generator and Oasis hydronic heating system have both been serviced and are in tip top shape. And the EGR valve was not only replaced, but was upgraded to be much more reliable and better built than the original EGR valve, which will significantly reduce the likelihood of it breaking in the future. Now, of course, it can't guarantee it because at the end of the day, these all are man-made machines and over time, things are potentially going to be broken. So when you find a coach that has been finely tuned in service, such as this coach, you better jump on it because there are not many that have been taken care of like this coach has been. And the air intake has been well thought out. It actually sucks in air for the engine up top that way you'll get cooler air instead of drawing air from down near the tarmac or near your engine where a lot of heat's being produced. This will increase your horsepower and torque when it gets hot out. Now this has a 15,000 pound towing capacity and this is where you'll have an incredible access to the rear of this engine. Now note the date on this air filter, 1220. And the generator, Oasis, and this engine have all been serviced. As I mentioned, all of these belts are brand new and over there on the right, you can actually see where they made the EGR update. Now right here is where our Oasis Hydronic Heating Boiler Fluid Reservoir is located. And I actually find this to be a very convenient place to have one of these reservoirs. Sometimes it can be a little hard climbing up into a compartment to top this off. So having it back here where you can stand up and easily dump fluid or even use a funnel with is quite nice. And this brings me to a point that I want to point out about this coach. If you are driving down the road, the boiler fluid that's located in your hydronic heating system will cycle through the engine, therefore drawing heat from it. This will give you furnace heat for the interior of the bus, as well as hot water, without having to run anything in your Oasis heating system, not the boiler or the electric elements. It will heat simply off the engine's heat, which is a huge feature I feel like is not talked about enough because it's so convenient having hot water all the time while you're on the road without having to think about where it comes from. And to put a cap on the rear end of this coach, down near our hitch receiver, we have an access point to our air system with a quick disconnect located on it. And next to that, we have a seven blade connector. So you can easily plug in any trailers or anything you'd like. I just noticed that there's another accessory air outlet right here on the right side of the engine bay. When you look at the exterior of this coach, you can't help but marvel at its beauty. The exterior is in youthful condition with minimal blemishes. The design and colors work beautifully in sync to create a timeless looking bus. And this is true for the interior as well. And who doesn't love all electric window awnings plus double Girard patio awnings for an expansive patio experience. So the patio space on this coach is massive because we have double Girard awnings. And those Girard awnings are in painted boxes that go with the paintwork. And in fact, the Girard boxes fit flush with the front and rear caps. And on the other side of the bus, there are mimic Girard boxes that all contribute to giving the coach a taller look. Even though it's no taller than any other coach because that extra little lip up there is no taller than your air conditioners. But it contributes to making the bus look a lot more proportional when you're looking at it from the side. Now, not only are all of the window awnings fully electric, but we have an electric entrance awning as well. And the entrance awning is made by Girard, which means it's going to work reliably. And while we're on the topic of the entrance, this has a substantial heavy duty step that's super wide, very solid, and when it's put in, looks flush with the rest of the coach. So I wanna point out that there is a little bit of oxidation on the passenger side chrome arm. This is not gonna be a 2022 Essex. So as you go down the sides of the coach, you'll notice right behind the front drive wheels, you have two access points to your 150 gallon diesel fuel tank. And it's very nice being able to access that tank from both sides of the coach. So right here, we have a Sony Smart TV that is locked. So what you do is grab a set of keys, take the golden one and twist counterclockwise. And that will reveal a Sony Smart TV. Now we also have an outdoor sound system here. So you can play your music through there. You can plug in your phone and all around, you can entertain a lot of people out here with this entertainment center. So let's go ahead and lock that back up. Well, TV off first. And by the way, you'll notice on both sides of the coach, 
there are security lights, which you can flick on at a press of a button. So if you're at a site and you wanna keep your site illuminated a little bit at night, you have some extra lighting out here. Welcome to the cabin, where the materials will astound you and the colors contrast perfectly together in a manner that will relax your mind every time you're in the bus. We're gonna take a stroll through it, starting in the salon area, which I'm standing in currently. So in the salon area on the driver's side of the bus, we have a J couch, and it is a very plush and soft leather couch. In fact, all of the upholstery in the coach is very soft and just extremely comfortable to sit in, especially the driver's seat. But this is a comfortable couch and a comfortable bed as well because hidden underneath we have a air mattress that folds out and I think is around the size of a queen bed which is pretty great for a hidden mattress in a couch. Now back there in the corner we have controls for lighting, you have multiplex switches everywhere but you also have controls for all of the day and night shades for this area. Now you have electric day and night shades on every single window in the bus and of course you can individually control those shades or hit a master switch and control them by groups. Now the front two windows in the salon area behind these two couches have these pieces of Corian. And we also have an additional piece of Corian right there in between the passenger side couch and the passenger seat. And I like that because it's a nice little spot where you can rest your drinks when you're hanging out in the coach. And if you're a smooth enough driver, even out on the road, depending on the type of cup you have. Now of course, both of these chairs behind me can swivel and that chair can be used as a recliner not only when you're going down the road, but when you have it turned around like this. So essentially you have a recliner here that has twice the value of a usual recliner. You also have outlets everywhere in the bus and we even have a little 12 volt car outlet right by the passenger along with many other 12 volt car outlets throughout the dash of the bus, which we will speak on later. Now that is a little jackknife couch and it's very comfortable. You also got a bit of storage underneath. And this furniture is all made by Villa. And if you haven't heard me speak about Villa in the past, then you can probably skip forward in another 15 seconds or so. They're an excellent company. It's made in the USA and it will last a long time. You're not gonna see very many Villa furniture pieces peeling. Now, right behind me, we have that optional added TV in the front, along with the other one that's back near the dinette that we're gonna see more of in a minute, which just gives you another spot that you can lay your eyes on and allows for more possibilities of getting comfortable while watching your favorite TV show or movie. There's also a surround sound system in the coach. And before we move on from the salon area, I wanna point out where the coach controls are. They're located right here in front of the driver's seat. And as you'll see, it has an excellent coach control setup. So in the top left of this compartment, we have our 12 volt battery disconnect, which will disconnect your coach batteries so you won't draw any power when the coach is just being stored. Now we have controls for all of our electric window awnings and our security lights that are on both sides of the coach, as well as the interior entrance step power switch. Now below that, we have our privacy drapes that are in the cockpit area, as well as the front main shade. And to the left of that, we have two slide out controls. So the touchscreen command center in this coach is actually pretty refined. This is one of multiple generations from Newmar, and I think they do an excellent job of taking all those top-notch features that you would want in a high-level coach like this and wrapping it up in a manner that not only allows you to easily operate the coach and get out of the way of the user instead of inhibiting the user, but it even adds features that you normally wouldn't have without a system like this. So starting at this home screen right here, you can turn your generator on, it's an automatic start. You can also automatically fill your fresh tank. So this coach has an automatic fill system that will fill your tank when you're plugged into city pressure. So if you wanna fill your tank real quick before taking off from the spot, just tap a button real quick. You have your water pump, of course, and then to engage your auto gen start system. Now below that, we have our AC power system, so you can turn your inverter on and off and 
see what's going on in your leg one and leg two as far as draws go. Below that, we have our DC power, so it'll show what's going on with your battery system, what your inverter is doing, and what the charger is doing. And below that, we have our genset and what the status is on that system. You can also, you can start it from here and clear your AGS, of course. Climate control, and right here, you can control the three zones in the coach technically four when you have the heaters going. And it's actually a really convenient system. You have your day, night, so you can have pre-programmed presets. You can control your Oasis system. And the Oasis actually has two AC immersion elements in there. So you have a high and a low electric heat, essentially, along with the actual diesel burner. And below that, we have our floor. So this has three zone floor heat and you can actually put them on a schedule, which is really cool. So you can have them pop on at a certain time, you know, in the zone three, let's say you're taking a shower normally during a certain period of time each day, you can easily have it come on during that time. It's a really nice system and something that is an added feature with this touchscreen setup. And below that in the features, we have all kinds of different configurations, one of them being the auto gen start configuration. And in the auto gen start menu, we can easily control what our parameters are for the generator to fire up and it makes the AGS system much easier to interact with. You can even set up quiet times, which is really cool. So that is the main coach control setup in this coach. And this actually has an optional added screen in the bedroom. So this right here is essentially a second portal into the main coach control system. And it's located right here in the bedroom area, which can be extremely convenient. If you have guests staying in the front of the bus and you get up, let's say in the middle of the night, or super early and you want to access something in your coach control center you can do so without disturbing anyone and this is actually an optional feature that's one of many others here in the galley space we have a good amount of countertop space here and i love the fact that we have this ivory piece of corian that wraps around the dark corian in a way that accents it perfectly you also have that happening up on this piece here there's sort of a second level here and the backsplash and that second level and all the Corian goes so well together. The backsplash has little marble inserts in it as well that just give it an extra depth, an extra dimension when you're looking at it. And I absolutely love the fact that the tile is continued. It's matching tile from the floor and the bottom part of the cupboard has the same wood that we see all along here. It's all finished out. So when you look in there, all you see is stone and gorgeously finished wood. The lighting is pretty solid as well. And right under here, we have a dual burner electric stove top. And what's cool about this piece right here is not only will it fold like so, you can remove this completely just like that. And then you have a wide open dual burner stove. Now I've always liked this because I like the ability to totally remove the pieces. However, it's annoying to have to store them down here in the, in the bottom cupboard down here. So it's nice to kind of have that dual purpose or dual ability, if you will. Now up here we have an Advantum microwave convection oven. And I absolutely love how all of this wood is just so purposely built. It's continued around this corner here, this trim piece that continues down the slide out. It just gives the galley space sort of its own feeling and more it, it definitely signifies Newmar's attention to detail. They didn't slack on the woodwork, that's for sure. Now down below, we have a dishwasher. It's a Fisher & Paykel, automatically locks, and it's hidden back behind this gorgeous piece of wood here. So the key freezes the buttons. Now I can turn it off and it should be locked, right? Yes, it's locked now. So it locks by turning it on or off, and the key button, presumably, doesn't let you touch any of these other buttons. That's right, look at that. So now if you bump into it, it's not gonna accidentally unlock it, right? Doesn't matter, you have little kids or you have an animal, it's not gonna accidentally unlock this. You have to press and hold the key button, then you can unlock it. You also have a lot of cabinet space down below here and these very well-built drawers, all solid wood and you can tell it's solid wood because it feels so light and the sliders feel of the utmost quality. Um, these are minor details that I think are actually pretty important when you're looking at a coach like this. Now, there's a huge amount of cabinet space up here. Um, you know, that silverware there comes free of charge. Uh, we don't charge you anything extra for all the spoons in there. We're extremely generous when it comes to giving out condiments such as disposable forks and stuff. Is that a condiment? 
Well, you can actually see in here where uh, the color quality, they, they actually tell you what colors they used in this woodwork and Sanibel Special. So I'm assuming because the original sticker in this coach has a surcharge for custom colors and Newmar is very good at allowing people to do that. This wood in here, I think is a custom color. I know the exterior is for sure. And uh, I find that to be very nice, but this woodwork is just absolutely stunning. And I can't say enough about it. The woodwork in here is eye candy. And that honey glaze reminds me of a beaver coach. However, there is definitely a touch of Newmar elegance when it comes to the way they styled and cut the wood. And the way they finished out the two massive windows on the driver's side of the bus with this Alcantara piece and the wood and the wall lights, I think they absolutely nailed that piece. The ceiling accent pieces have this gorgeous wood trim that look like the sides of a super high quality pool table. And these gorgeous pieces are backlit, which makes them look like they're floating up there, but they hide your air conditioner vent which leads the ceiling of the coach to not be as cluttered and it also suppresses a lot of noise from your roof air conditioners. Well it seems I have forgotten about the sink. That's probably an important facet of the galley space. So we have a dual sink here, a super deep sink on the left that's massive and one on the right that's a little more shallow and they're made out of a solid surface. We have a gorgeous designer faucet there and that end actually will come off. So you can use it as a sprayer and I think it looks really nice. It's sleek, it's perfect for this galley and it, it just definitely fits the style. You know, that's, that's one of the things I can say about this coach uh, that sort of shines through and through when you're looking at it is that everything seems so well put together from the colors, the materials, the systems used, the way the systems are tied together. Everything feels very precise. The attention to detail is high but they didn't lose the big picture idea at any time when they were building this coach. And that is something I pick up every time I interact with this coach, is that everything was thought out um, from the high level big picture perspective, which is, hey, is it a bus that you're gonna fall in love with? And to answer that question, uh, yes. You know, I, you're gonna fall in love with this coach. It's definitely going to happen. So you have been warned. <laughs> You have been warned. Now this is a beautiful little pantry space here and they're all on these nice sliders and uh, they're pretty wide as well. You can tell how wide this, this whole door is. So I love the fact there's a lot of cabinet space in this coach, that is for sure. And here is our residential refrigerator. It's a Whirlpool. We have the freezer in the bottom. We've got a lot of space in here. There's an ice maker. You can get filtered water through it. And this is a fantastic spot for it too. It doesn't protrude too much out of the wall. They've built this whole piece just to make this refrigerator look more flush and you get a free pantry out of it. So this is a great little area over here where the refrigerator is located. Now, right here we have our Sony TV and right here we have our dinette. And I absolutely love this dinette. So of course you can easily seat four people here. You can break out the foldable chairs, throw in the leaf, and there you go, you can see four people, but even as the dinette sits and it's on its own, you could use this to seat four people in a typical situation. It just depends on, on what you're gonna be a little close, I will not lie about that. But the main thing about it is when you're sitting in this, it's so comfortable, it's so much more comfortable than any chair um, or most chairs could ever hope to be. And the little extra piece here that hides some of the components that slide out looks slick enough. It doesn't look big and bulky like I've seen on a lot of other coaches. And the woodwork is continued down underneath. I mean, check this out. Even on this bottom piece of the dinette and the bottom piece of that other Corian piece that hides the mechanism down there is all covered in that beautiful wood that matches the rest of the coach. So that's a little detail that you might not notice it as soon as you walk in the coach, but it certainly contributes to the overall feel of the bus. Now, in the middle here, we have a lot of interesting features. First of all, we have our washer dryer stack. And by the way, this door, I, these doors are absolutely gorgeous with the vents and the, I just, I love this door. But we have a Whirlpool washer dryer stack. And look at this, the, the washer has a little tray in it, which that's a nice touch right there. 
just in case you have a little leak, it's gonna catch some of it or just a little bit of spillage. You also have a nice drawer down here. You can put some nice, you can store things easily. And this is your Dirt Devil central back system access point. So you see, as soon as it opens, it turns on. So what you do is you grab your attachments, which are in the bay of the bus, and you can vacuum from front to back easily with that hose. So no more need for a broom, no more need for dusting and adding dust to the atmosphere. You just vacuum up the coach and you're on your way. Now right here is our half bath. And it seems to me that I've forgotten to turn the lights on. So let me click the buttons. We have some beautiful multiplex switches right here. So as you can clearly see, we have more gorgeous woodwork, a good amount of Corian countertop space, and a nice little backsplash that's perfect for this half bath. Now this is of course a Tecma toilet, so it's a push button and it has the conserve water feature. So if you wanna flush the toilet while not using so much water, you certainly can. And this faucet is gorgeous. It matches the rest of the coach. They didn't cheap out at all in this space. There's also an auxiliary heater blower fan. Um, so if you want, you can click this button right here and a little heater will blow on you using a heat exchanger from the Oasis system. And it's actually a pretty sizable half bath. If you're sitting here, there is a good amount of space. I mean, look how they're here where my knees are and there's probably about a foot here, a foot and a half of space in front of me. I'm very comfortable in this half bath. And again, the, the, the amount of attention to detail is so prevalent. Even around this little mirror, we have this beautiful wood piece. This whole piece is just all finished out. Even the bottom of this in the half bath has been finished out in this gorgeous wood. So definitely isn't cheap anywhere. And uh, of course you have some medicine cabinet space back there too. And we have a push button electric fantastic fan with a built-in rain sensor. There's actually three of them. There's one in the galley space, there's one in here, and there's one in the master bathroom. And they all have rain sensors and they're all push button and they all come with gorgeous wood covers that simply pop into place. And I don't know what it is, but there's something about those wood covers that just elevate the experience a little bit. It's nice, I love fantastic fans. It honestly isn't a big deal to see them at all, but you know, it is nice if you can, why not cover it up with a nice woodwork piece? Hey, Newmar is definitely gonna take any opportunity they have to add a beautiful piece of wood, that's for sure. So the master bedroom space and I like to call it a master bedroom suite because you can certainly use it as one. If you shut this pocket door right here, which by the way is locked into place via a very easy to use mechanism. So all you do is click this down. So right now it's locked into place. Click that down, slide it out. And I like to be gentle when it catches the other one. Keep going. There it is, locked into place. So now, and by the way, look at these. These are just solid, huge doors. They look fantastic. They add to the whole experience instead of take away from it. And again, it just exhibits the gorgeous woodwork in this bus. But to be completely honest with you, I'm gonna open it up because my recorder is up front and I don't wanna lose my audio quality. But if you close this off, you have a beautiful master suite back here with a huge king bed an actually beautiful headboard made out of a solid piece of wood that I think looks stunning. And there's Corian countertop space, a little bit of it on each side, as well as little storage spaces, and you have some outlets. Now, what's interesting about this coach is, oh, and I need to turn these reading lights on. It, you know, it bothers me if I don't have all the lights on. What's interesting about this coach, and uh, it's a great idea, you have a lot of your controls right here. So you can control your master shades, you can control your generator, your accent lights in the coach, lights all in here, and essentially is a mini control center for the bedroom and for some of the main systems in the bus. And it's nice to have at your fingertips, even if it's in the middle of the night and you wanna wake up and you're like, ah, oh, you know, I, I'm concerned my batteries might be going a little low um, let me fire my generator up real quick. There you go, click the button. Or I wanna fire my errors up, let me click the generator. It's really nice to have all that control right there. Now, on the other side of this bedroom, 
is a very nice uh, chest of drawers. And I think a chest of drawers made by Newmar is one of the best looking around. Go, uh, go home, Ikea. <laughs> so you've got this beautiful piece of Corian up top, nice pieces of wood, and these are huge drawers, all made from solid wood. They feel fantastic. We've got an emergency exit right here, so this, door, this window will flap out, and it also serves as an excellent way to let natural light in. That's something I think Newmar did extremely well on this coach, is put in massive windows, which is kind of rare outside the Prevo bus world. So right here, of course, we have a nice Sony smart TV with the Blu-ray player and all that good stuff, so you can enjoy your favorite TV shows even sitting in bed. And on the right, we have more multiplex controls for shades and lights and all that good stuff. So of course, multiplex controls are nice in that way where you have controls everywhere in the bus. Now, you can actually stand. I'm currently standing in part of the full wall slide. And I wanna say two things here. First of all, even if you're too tall to stand in there, the fact that this goes out that much, I mean, look how much depth this slide is adding to this bedroom space. Even if you're too tall to fit in here, and I'm 5'11", if you're too tall to fit in here, it still contributes to making this bedroom feel massive. But if you're 5'11 or shorter, this is literally part of the room. I mean, it's a little, I mean, obviously the ceiling's right here, but I can walk in here. I can get to this control center very easily. Um, it's a huge part of the of the bedroom space here and this bedroom feels huge and that's not even to mention this gorgeous absolutely gorgeous master bathroom we have back here so let's take a step into it one of the best master bathroom setups I think uh, you'll see around we have a double vanity setup over here and why not have two sinks I have to say when Kai and I are out camping we cannot have one sink I mean we we're, st we're on top of each other um, if we have one seat and in each other's space. Not a good way to camp. If you're like that, even if you're not like that exactly, it's just nice to have the second sink. Um, but if you're like us two, get the second sink. That's all I can say. So over here, you would think with this massive mirror, right? Look at this huge mirror. It goes from top to bottom, right? Top up here and it's all surrounded by this absolutely gorgeous woodwork. All the accent pieces are just, it looks so good. The lights are coming down out of it and it's just a beautiful piece. Where's the medicine cabinet space? Oh, well, I guess that's the sacrifice of having such a beautiful looking mirror, right? No, <laughs> we actually have medicine cabinet space on the sides. That's right, not just one side, this side as well. So huge amount of space, and yet you have a massive mirror as well. So you get the best of both worlds in this bathroom in many different ways. And down below, there's a lot of storage as well. I love how this curves, this piece in the wood right here, it curves to fit these huge bowls. By the way, look how deep these are. These are not shallow. Notice how deep this is. These are tiny details you'll get from an RV dealer. I've seen a lot of RVs. Typically RVs, they have a little more shallow bowls. These are deep. They had to put something in here to uh, accent it because it was protruding out. And I actually think it goes with the style very well. So doing two things at once. Back here, look at the wood trim piece down here. They didn't have to do this. This is not doing anything. This is literally just a trim piece, but it looks beautiful. It's styled like the rest of the cabinetry in here. And back here, we have a massive wardrobe where there's a safe, a huge solid bar up here to hold your clothes in. And overall, a massive space that allows you to organize many things beyond just hanging up shirts and pants and other things. You can store a lot in this wardrobe. Now right here we have our Tecma toilet and again push button same as the one in the half bath and by the way that's a huge plus because it's a big full-size toilet and it's the same size as the one in the half bath. That's a nice thing but it's a porcelain toilet. By the way this shade is electric. You've got day and night shades here beautiful accent piece around the windows, and then this absolutely gorgeous shower piece. So this is all Corian. We've got a teak seat here, and it's a sizable space in here. Beautiful, beautiful stone, and the glass, my gosh, the glass. When you close this door and you see out, you just see this beautiful glass piece. You have plenty of space in here. You feel the stone under your feet. You look at the stone on the walls. 
it's absolutely gorgeous. We also have a nice skylight that you can see through, which I love the fact that you can see through it because when you're in there, you can like look up and see the trees in your campground. It's just a nice, it also lets a lot of natural light in the bus. But yeah, excellent, excellent shower space. And this is a great idea too for the grip. Oh, that's a, an amazing piece right there. Look at that. That is an amazing piece. I can't tell you how many of the old school showers would slide down. They'd never stay there. This is very nice. So you can adjust that to where you want it. Set it there. All stainless steel. Nice little shower rack here. I love the fact that they put this teak seat in here because it just accents the dark piece so well and uh, kind of reminds me of a yacht or a nice boat. So that'll click into place there. And uh, I didn't mention that there's a lot of outlets in here too. So there's two outlets right there. There's two outlets on the other side. So you can plug in plenty of things in the coach. You can say that throughout the bus. There are outlets in here over by the bed headboard. And with that, let's move on to the cockpit where we can get familiar with the controls and the systems that make this coach so nice to drive and to set up at the campground or resort. So the driver's cockpit is very well equipped and intuitively set up as we will see here. And I kind of want to walk through some of the controls here and some of the systems that this coach is equipped with. And I'm going to begin with the HWH computerized leveling system. So this does have hydraulic jacks. There are four of them and you can auto level the coach or you can manually level it. You can also dump the airbags from here. And I love how these HWH jacks, the way they set them up in Newmar coaches is when you press auto store, it doesn't just jolt the whole bus and drop you down like every other coach that has hydraulic jacks does, um, including Tiffins. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's just every other hydraulic jack system will just dump you on the ground. And that's fine. It's nothing wrong with it, but it's very nice to have a gentle letdown. You don't shake everybody up in the coach. Like, oh, wow, we let the jacks out. No, this is a very gentle process. And Newmar has always done that. I, I, I love the fact that they do that. Now to the right of that, we have our Hadley air ride system. And when you go into standard ride, which is the button in the middle, the coach will constantly correct itself. If you're going on a big hill, it'll try to level itself out. If you're going around a big curve, it's constantly helping you out. And, and it's, it's uh, one of the best air ride management systems I've seen on a bus, period. And I love hearing it. It constantly is adjusting itself. I love hearing it constantly adjust itself. Oh, it's just, it's just such a big, big boy bus thing to do. Now with this system, you can also raise and lower the airbag and actually drive the coach. Now I believe you can drive it in the raise mode up to 20 miles an hour. And in the lower mode, you can drive it up to 10 miles an hour. So think if you need to clear some big thing in the road, a big speed bump or something, it's, you know, you're worried about your coach scraping, you're going over a bump out of a parking lot. Or if you're trying to squeeze it into a garage or something, you can drop the bags low. Now, what's interesting about this leveling, that it's not a leveling system. What's interesting about this air management system is that you can also level the coach with it. So you press SLS once, and then you press set and it'll level the coach using the airbag. So we do have air leveling as well as hydraulic leveling, but the main purpose of this Hadley system is to provide increased road control, comfort, and stability to the whole driving experience. Now to the right, we have our Allison transmission control. And this of course has the 4000 series Allison transmission, which is the big boy Allison transmission. We can also manually shift it in here. And what's kind of cool is if you press mode, you can select the highest gear. So you know how if you're towing with a truck, you can put it into tow mode and it won't go into overdrive. Well, this system will allow you to set the highest gear you want to allow the transmission to go into. So that can be first gear. It can be second gear. It can be any gear up to sixth gear. Um, of course, sixth gear is just regular drive mode, but that's a nice system to use and it's a bulletproof transmission. Now up above here, we have our auto tag dump and you can also manually dump it. You can roll this window down because there's a very large window right here. So you can roll that down. You also have your engine brake high and low. And I have to say it's a pretty strong engine brake and the low is a perfect low if you're setting, you're planning on towing something, which I love. That's the perfect setup because sometimes lows 
and a lot of other exhaust brake systems are much too low and you get a big tow vehicle behind you or you get a big trailer behind you and that low is doing barely anything. This low is a perfect low for actually towing. It's more of a medium low compared to other coaches, but if you're towing, it's a true low. Now, of course, we have heated mirrors. There's a nice coupled right here. And there's a driver memory as well. So if you and your wife or whoever else is gonna be driving with you, you have different requirements for the steering wheel because the steering wheel is fully electric. The pedals are fully electric. The seat is fully electric. So you can have all those different setups for a different person. You can just quickly press a button if you wanna swap out drivers. You pull over and swap drivers real quick. You click a button, you're set up, you're back into your, your, uh, your cockpit, your cockpit, not the other person's cockpit. Now we also have the brightness and dimness. And then of course, comfort drive control, which one is the most loose. So you can literally steer the coach with your pinky at parking lot speeds or even just sitting still, you can steer it with your pinky. Now up to six, it adds some stiffness. So on the highway, you can get some more stability and control and it's not gonna sway as much. Now we also have our headlights, fog lights, battery boost, air horn. And I wanna say this bus, there's you know there's a certain point where you get to a, uh, a nice enough coach where the chassis is so good, the only time you're gonna be swaying in the road is if there's some insane crosswind or you are not a very good driver. <laughs> so, this bus will show you if you're a good driver or not. How much are you swaying in the road? Because this thing, literally, you can just set it in a lane and it'll stay dead straight. You know, so even with me, I notice myself. I'm like, wow, I'm still swaying a little bit. It's it's uh it's hard to get. You know, some of those moments where you just locked into a position, you're not moving the steering wheel. All oh, those are beautiful steering. Those are beautiful moments. Now let's talk about the gauges a little bit. These are classic Spartan gauges. Nothing special going on here. Now we do have the digital gauge down there, and I love the fact that this has a digital gauge because it allows you to keep an eye on your transmission temperature, your oil temperature, important things like that, especially if you plan on towing something big. But other than that, uh, straightforward. We've got air pressures in our airbags, fuel, def, voltmeter, oil pressure. I like that we have an oil pressure there. It's a good one to have on the gauges. And then of course, water temperature. And uh, this thing actually sounds, it's got a good grunt to it. If you're sitting up here, you can barely hear the engine. And that's the beautiful thing about having a diesel pusher, of course, is the engine is way back in the back. However, you can hear a little bit and ew, this engine sounds so good with the turbos. Let me let me let you listen to the turbo spool up. Well, well, hold on. We're going to wait a minute for that. I recorded a clip um, with the turbo spooling it up. It was just sitting there idling and uh, oh my gosh, the turbo it sounds like a turbine jet. I absolutely love how these ISX come in sound when they're idling. They're one of some of the most beautiful idling diesel engines out there. Um, along with the Detroit Series 60, but this one just sounds like a turbine. Like you fire it up and you hear that big turbo out there spooling and oh, love it, absolutely love it. And over to the right, we have our infotainment center here. So, you know, you can see I've got my phone plugged up to it. You've got radio, um, navigation, Series XM, you can get set up. On the right, this is where all your camera feed will be coming through, the side cameras, the rear cameras. And then of course we have electric visor controls because of course all of these visors are electric the ones on the side as well. So you can quickly and easily shut yourself off. Even though this is a very nice and bright, huge cockpit, you can shut that off and get some shade in here. Trip tech, that's the control, that digital thing in the, in the dash. Air conditioner control here for the driver. You've got auxiliary fan controls right here for defrosting purposes and I guess for other purposes as well. And of course the VIP steering wheel. So the steering wheel is very nice on this coach. I think they added, it's a VIP steering wheel, but I feel like they added some thickness to the to the sides. And I absolutely, I think it's a perfect size steering wheel. Maybe it's because I have massive, well, maybe it's because I have relatively massive hands, but I just, I love the steering wheel. It's perfect. I love the wood grain up there. It's, it's nice to grip. And I have to tell you, you're gonna hear me mention it. And I come to the conclusion that this bus, the way the steering feels, it feels like a massive, huge, Cadillac Escalade. That's about how I can explain the driving experience, especially when you grab that wood grain. Ah, it feels like you're driving a huge butter smooth Cadillac, except this is smoother than any Cadillac I've driven, um, any Escalade that I've driven. Now this steering wheel is, I forget the, the, the brand name, but it's fully electric. So all you do is, well, the bus is off. So you can adjust the telescopic, you can adjust the steering wheel to come in and out, to go up and down. You can adjust the pedals, all with these little tabs that are located right here. So easily, just with your fingertips, you can control where the steering wheel is at, the pedals, all that good stuff. 
You know, when I first saw this system on a bus a long time ago, I, uh, I thought it was kind of gimmicky, but uh, to be honest, it's actually kind of convenient. Once you start using it, you quickly can just pop your steering wheel out of your way with the push of a button. It sounds uh, very first world, but it's one of a, a, it's a system that's so convenient, it just stops you from actually physically doing anything. It's, uh, it's a nice system to have. It's minor, but uh, quite enjoyable to have. Now the seat is huge, very comfortable, and I wanna point something out that's kind of unique to this bus, and uh, I guess other new Mars, it's not just this bus, but it's a rare thing to see. So this actually has thermostat controls specifically for the passenger. Why haven't more coaches done this? <laughs> I think all around I would describe this coach as driving like it rides on a magnet, like a set of magnets. And you're constantly floating and rappelling over the road. That's kind of, it's like a magnet carpet that you're riding on. And, you know, I think that and that that's sort of how it feels to me the steering feel how the whole chassis handles bumps and and problems and stresses in the road there's never a moment where i feel like the coach is unstable never it, it's if i mean right now this is like one of the most beautiful moments when you get a flat piece and you can just get in a corner and just lock your eyes around the corner Look, I'm not moving my, you can get minimal movements in your steering. And it's just, this coach feels amazing when you get to get to that point. And the whole chassis just feels so well put. It's all, it feels so stable and, and it, it manages to balance ride quality with this beautiful amount of feel in the, in the chassis and stability and performance because it rides and, and handles bumps like it rides on a magnet ride. I'm just gonna slow down for this uh, potential construction here. But it always, I have just so much confidence in it coming down and becoming planted again. And this is not extremely surprising because look, this is the Spartan K2 chassis. It's been around for a while, they've been improving it, and it's a heavy duty, top of the line chassis that has always rode extremely well. So that part I'm not extremely surprised about. It's the way that this, and I hear the Hadley, I, I absolutely love hearing that Hadley air ride system adjust periodically, it's, it's amazing. But if you're going around a corner with this Hadley air ride system, it will actively manage air pressure in your air system in order to keep the weight from rolling too much and causing instability. So it's constantly, constantly adjusting depending on the wind, the, the road, the curve, what you're doing, how you're driving the coach. It's constantly adjusting to the optimal set points. And it's just a really, really well put together chassis. This Hadley ride, and then the comfort drive comes in and makes you just feel like you are a VIP. I don't know how else to explain it. I mean, the steering wheel, it feels like I'm driving a huge Escalade. That's about the best way I think I can put it, especially with this big wood grain steering wheel up here. It really does feel like an Escalade, like a huge, even more cushiony riding Escalade with an even more effortless steering wheel. See, when you're around town, you can turn this comfort drive all the way down into number one position out of six positions. And that's where the wheel is just, I mean, you can sit here and just move it with your pinky finger. It's, it's, it's I mean, here, I'll, I'll sit here and drive with my pinky finger. 
this is what you can do. So it's even beyond what an Escalade does. Escalades always have that sort of easy gliding feel about them. This is well beyond that. But it's taking that idea and running with it. Now when you get up to highway speeds like I was, you can turn that comfort drive all the way up to six, which is the most stiff position, which will help you fight crosswinds, potentially help when you have a, if you had a blowout, and just all around decreases stress while you're in on the highway trying to stay within lanes and make good time. And the exhaust brake is quite strong. It has two levels. The high is pretty strong, I have to say. It, it really does grab this coach and slow it down. And with the proper calibration, once you get in sync with this bus, you'll barely ever be touching the brake pedal itself. You'll just be using that exhaust brake. And that is, that is so nice. It's just, it's physically nice too. You don't have to operate, you literally don't have to operate the brake pedal nearly as much. It's physically relieving. On top of that, it's mentally relieving to have the extra brake power, especially when you're coming down those big mountain roads. You, if, I mean, basically, if you don't have an exhaust brake coming down those big mountain roads with a lot of weight, you're dead in the water. I mean, let's be real. You're not dead in the water. You could survive, you would be fine, but it would be a lot more stressful without that exhaust brake, I, let me tell you. And the low is perfect. I'm creeping up to this, this light. I don't want to stop too quickly. Now I'm going to throw in the high. And sometimes I modulate with a little bit of brake pressure when I need it. But basically, you get down to about 15 miles an hour, and then that's all the brakes you use. Anything under 15 miles an hour. <laughs> It's pretty that's a luxury right there the cockpit excel the cockpit itself is pretty nice i appreciate the emphasis upon the road and the actual driving quality it's the perfect amount of glamour up here it's just a touch we have some nice dials classic spartan dials here speedo tachometer we have oil pressure i have a little digital gauge which can be very useful you can keep an eye on transmission temperature and more detailed things like that it comes in handy when you're towing and i have a beautiful steering wheel with the electric adjustment so i don't have to lift a finger to adjust myself and make myself comfortable in here and this thing is electrically adjustable in a million different ways you know the cockpit is extremely comfortable but the big thing about this coach is it backs it up Turning radius is excellent. That's another thing I've appreciated about the more recent K2 chassis builds that I've seen. Um, that is an impressive turning radius. And I know because I've driven this coach a good bit. And, I, you know, we had this coach a couple months ago, so you can see my old video. This is not the first time I've driven this coach. The turning radius is quite impressive considering it has 365 size tires up front. I mean, those are really wide tires, and the fact that they're getting this turning radius is uh, quite phenomenal, especially with the K2 chassis because this is a super heavy duty chassis. We've got independent front suspension up here, of course. And um, yeah, this thing is a tank that doesn't ride on tracks. It rides on tracks of magnets. It's, it's like it's floating and connected to the ground. It kind of sticks. It's an amazing feeling and an excellent driving bus. Let me go get this gate real quick and then we're gonna make some tight maneuvering back in the storage facility. So the first bay on the passenger side of the coach is where we have a Dometic freezer slash refrigerator out here. And it's conveniently on a slide out tray. So you can just slide that thing out and you know, you've got an extra little freezer out here. Undo these clips, good bit of space in there. And there's, what I think is pretty cool. It's like this little section right here and there's like a LED light in it, which is nice, especially at night if you're out there camping you want to open up, you can't really see, you got your little LED light there. And you can set the temperature, of course, and you know what you want to do with it on the side. And then here is where we have our pass-through storage bays. Now, there are two fully pass-through bays here, these two right here. And this one is just a standard slide tray. Very convenient handle to get it unlocked. And it comes out a good, good bit of distance right there. 
And the carpeting is just so clean here as well. Even though it does need to be vacuumed, it's in great condition down here. No peeling off, nothing like that, no ripples. Now this slide out bay is electrically controlled. So you just push a button and it comes in and out and it can go out on both sides of the coach. So that is a really nice feature. You just use this button right here. And this is a wider pass-through storage bay. This is a really big pass-through storage bay. And interestingly, it's even though it's electric, it's about the same height as the other tray, if not maybe a, a hair shorter. It's an easy glide electric slide tray. Now this slide tray goes about 70% through the coach. And this is where the treasure trove of extra parts on this coach is. Now, first of all, we have all the attachments for our central vac. But behind that, we have all the Cummins service manuals for the engine, just ordered, brand new in the box. We've got all kinds of extra goodies here, extra filters, extra belts, extra def, extra seals, extra tile, rope, chains, anything you would imagine you'd need on the road is in this bus. We've got safety flares, ponchos. These are all things the previous owner just kept in the coach because it's just in case, you know, he was that type of owner. He really took care of the bus and really, really cared about the coach. And he cares about where this coach will end up as well. And you really can see that when you, when you see all these really high quality extra parts, someone has cared about the coach and not cared about money and trying to cut corners. Now, Newmore always does this. You can kind of make like a tool rack in here. It's pretty cool. Peg stuff up in there. I've got our def fluid right here. Duracell batteries. These are about, these are pretty much new. These are about six, seven months old. Filters, fresh filters come around back. Of course, our engine bay. And as mentioned, all these belts are brand new. The engine's been fully serviced. We've got a new air filter. That is where our upgraded EGR valve is right there. That silver piece has been updated and let me tell you that's much more heavy duty than the original one had you know that some of these cummins had egr problems the isl did as well and uh, it's nice to know that this has been taken care of this egr valve has been bulletproofed right here is just an extra little storage compartment for as uh someone who makes great videos says a stinky slinky could go <laughs> the wet bay is actually pretty well equipped we've got a macerator pump and let me tell you, the macerator pump is a fantastic feature. So as you can tell, there's a paper towel holder, outside shower here, water filter. We've got electric tank gauges there. It's also, it also has an auto fill. So that's a super nice feature. And I pointed this out in the old video on this coach, and it's still an amazing thing that even though it does have the automatic tank fill, you can use it as a manual. This is terrific. I've seen Prevo buses mess this up to where, you know, that electric solenoid goes bad or something goes wrong with the valve and you're toast. Can't get water in your coach. Really bad design. This one has been thought out very well. You're never gonna be stranded not where that electric thing is gonna get in your way. You can manually do it if you need to. It's the best of both worlds. And on the left, we have a pure flow mana block. So this will allow you to, to specifically cut off areas of in the plumbing system if you have a leak. And on the left here, we have a hose where you can fill the tank or get city pressure and it electrically reels itself back in. Now right here is where we have our 50 amp power cable as well as the automatic transfer switch, which has a surge guard built into it, which is super nice to have. And this is of course on an electric reel. There's actually a gen start button. You know, if you wanna go ahead and let your generator take over and you're out outside unhooking your coach, you can just fire it up from here. Now this right here, we have our Dirt, Va Dirt Devil Central Vac, of course, but also our Oasis Hydronic Heating System. And it's a 50,000 BTU system, and it will use 0.44 gallons per hour at maximum output. But of course it has two I believe they're 1500 watt immersion elements. So you can heat the boiler fluid using the electric elements or you can use them all together to assist. So you can kind of use them as an assist, which I think is an excellent feature. And then on the right, we have the control board, which will give you different messages if you end up with an error. And there's also a manual off and on switch, which is uh, another nice feature because you operate the system through a touch screen on the interior of the bus. And it's nice to have a fail safe, a, a real switch. Now right here is the other side of that pass-through storage compartment. And as you can see, there's a button over here too. 
just press that button and it'll come out very effortlessly. Let me adjust the ISO. I refuse to use automatic ISO control, which is probably not very smart. <laughs> so you can slide this out here. Great access. You can see the condition of that carpet is, is very nice. It's not banged up down here. It's been looked after. It's been gently used. That's really the uh, key takeaway on this bus is its whole life, it's just been gently used and really well looked after. Now to the left of that bay, we have the other pass-through storage compartment. As you can see, that tray is already out on the other side. But these are huge storage compartments. You can get a lot of stuff in here. And here are our Magna Power AGM batteries, eight of them with all the brand new copper wiring. And it's on a great slide-out tray. So very easy to use handle right there. And there are two extra pin locks on each side just in case which is nice. You don't want that big weight being sliding up against this door here. And of course, this is one of our Phillips. This has a dual Phillips setup, 150 gallon fuel tank. Oh, I love those 365 tires. And this is the very front bay on the driver's side, which mostly includes, you know, a lot of fuses and stuff for the chassis side stuff up in the cockpit. We've got our HWH gen slide control here on the left and a brand new, still in the package, squeegee. Uh, and then the previous owner added some microfibers. A lot of microfibers in the coach. If you haven't fallen in love with this Essex and all of its glory, then I don't know what to tell you. This Essex was made with the user in mind. From the beautiful exterior to the classically modern interior, and the driving experience brings no less. The way it blissfully rides on what you could almost mistake as a cloud makes the driving and riding experience heavenly. This is truly a wondrous coach.